bugs three his props was fairly straightforward. I had some old Sigma ones left over that I never used. And uh, all I had to do to make them, well two things I had to do to make them fit. First of all was to drill, drill out the hole with a 5mm uh, drill. And then um, file off the top. The reason for that was to make it um, short enough so the thing would fit on the on the spindle of the bug three. So looking at the bug three, there's the stock prop, which just comes off using this tool here if we have to. And just spin off. Then the new prop. Uh, with it filed down a bit, fits there just long, just far enough to get a bit of a grip with the um, the new hub prop nut, um, which you then do up with, with some sort of tool, something like that. And there you have it. That's the um, the Bugs Three fitted out with a cut down version of a a Sima prop. You can see how I had to cut it down to to fit. But that's all there was to that. Okay, now a slightly trickier process, which was to get these uh, tri blades onto the bug six. Uh, first of all, I should point out that I've made a few changes to my bug six. Um, it came with a little cover on the top, a holder for the battery, and casing on the battery. And someone pointed out, take all this stuff off and reduce the weight. Um, you can then just put the battery on top with a couple of rubber bands. And if you want, you can hammer, hang a camera underneath, which in case I've done. Took the little legs off, uh, put a bit of tape around here just to stop the wires dangling. And uh, that's what my Bugs 6 looks like. So, not quite stock, but a very easy mod. Um, so... The problem with the prop change on the bug 6 and 8 is that you've got a stepped shaft here. It starts off at about 5mm and goes out to 6mm. Um, these are the, um, the props that I bought. The tri-blades. Originally I was going to use them on the bug 3 and then I looked at it and thought, well no, I think there's a better way to go. Um, and the way they came, they came standard with what's pretty much a 5mm hole. Um, this is a 5mm drill, they'll fit on, yeah, so it's pretty well exactly 5mm. Um, I found if I put them straight on the here, there's not much of the nut, uh, the shaft sticking up above the, the prop. Also, it's just, it's a little bit, little bit loose because the shaft is, I guess, a little less than 5mm. Um, this, by the way, is a standard prop. It goes on that way, I think. And then you, yeah, tighten it down with the prop nut. So what I did, here's one I've modified. Um, I got a 6mm drill. And I've cut it out a bit so it now sits further down and the prop nut gets a bit of grip on it. Also, with the 6mm part drilled out to 6mm, it's fine at the top, it means it sits uh, without rocking on the shaft, which I think is a good thing for smoothness. So the way I... I I took it from the standard where it was 5mm um, both sides and left it with 5mm at the top but 6mm at the bottom was to get my trusty drill and not power it up at all but to do it by hand. So this way I can control going about halfway through the, uh, through the prop to get it um, to handle that step. So 6mm at the bottom, st still 5mm at the top and as, as I've shown pop it on there and it sits down and it sits down yeah it sits down further and it sits tighter on the shaft so that was a little trick that I worked out so I thought I'd share it